I mean, you know, we can do whatever. We can do Clue. We can do Game of Life 2. We could do Left 4 Dead 2. We could, there are a lot of twos. There, we could do... A lot of twos. A lot of twos. <laughs> lot of twos. <laughs> we could also do, a like, a monster... <laughs> We could do a monster camp or a monster road trip if we wish as well. Those are options. That's also a possibility. You know, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay. Uh, do we want to do a monster Pretty camp, cool, which man. is the traditional dating sim, or the monster road trip, which is the one? Yeah, do we, like... do we want to fuck or play Oregon Trail? Yeah. Uh, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, do we fuck or trail? <laughs> I mean, fucking can happen in Road Trip as well, but it's not the main focus. Yeah. It's not the point of the game. It's not the point. Excuse me. I'd rather, I'd rather cycle. 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 So, All right, road trip. Oregon Trail. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we can road trip. Where's, where you pause? I yeah. almost just booted it up too. I was like, that's useless. What are you Why doing? would I do that? Yeah, what are you doing? I actually did boot it up. Well, that is technically an option. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> Booted it up for the first time just now, apparently. Jesus. Wow. That's awesome. My, I'm going to refill my, my trick. So desperately trying to get me to play Mario Party 7 Bon Voyage quiz. Oh, it's because <laughs> I, I put in right Mario back. Road Trip instead of Monster Road Trip. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down a second. I have yet to audio about that. We have not done this on the screen, so I've yet to audio about so. No voices, because we're doing the voices, obviously. Accessible fonts. We love accessible fonts. Wait, does this automatically use dyslexia-friendly font? I assume so. I'm assuming that Some means... Someday you'll learn benefits of good current. I haven't seen it, so you're not doing it on on stream before it makes sense. Yeah, it's not. It has not happened on stream. Accessible fonts, baby. We're so fucking back. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh wait, no. The meta shop in this game is a gotcha, which I don't have enough for. I'm back. Also, don't forget to feed us. <laughs> I'll feed you in a moment. I was just doing all the setup for it. You're How's good. that? Is it too quiet? Is it too quiet? Do you want it to bump it up, or is that good for you, Rebuka? Sounds good? Okay. I'm gonna uh, refill my drink real quick. Uh, let me... Hell yeah. Uh, feed. Feed. Fed. I'll be right back. You burp. Chat. What's another question I can come up with? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, chat. What's another question I can come up with? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting real fucking meta with my hypotheticals now. <laughs> Chad, who's your favorite character from War Gods? Remember War Gods? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, watch it's Mojo response. Top 10 Cat Girls. No, I'm not answering that. Watch <laughs> three. Well, yesterday was if you could name the tenth planet, what would you name it? Like, what's another? What's another good one? If you're a hot dog and you're starving, would you eat yourself? <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Carry. That's a simple question, my friend. You want a baby? Can I answer? You have an extra bone. Where would you want it? <laughs> At the base of my skull. <laughs> that way I can protect myself against these damn tiny humans that keep trying to cut the nape of my neck. <laughs> Why the fuck? Sorry, that was a extended Attack on Titan joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I 
think I have, like, attack to answer your question. <laughs> I didn't expect actual answers to favorite character from War Gods. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> You'd only eat soup and pea soup, which you would essentially be a tunnel. No, you'd be a straw. Are straws? Are tunnels just straws for cars? I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to stop. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> we can get real disrespectful real quick. <laughs> yeah? I have nowhere to go with this threat. <laughs> I was just playing off of what my boot could type. <laughs> if you were in Willy Wonka, how would you want to die? Nobody dies in Willy Wonka. No one dies. <laughs> they all leave. They're I'm sorry. Scared. Mike TV is trapped in that TV. He's going to starve to death. I think Augustus Gloop got some TV. He's made tiny. I think Augustus you... Gloop got sucked into the chocolate maker. Did you not read the book? <laughs> Did you think I read? Okay. They made us read it back when I was uh, a kid. And Did you not watch the 2005 Tim Burton version of it? Actually, yeah, that one too. What? Ace just asked if you were in Willy Wonka, which way would you want to die? It doesn't have to be one of the given ways that happen in the movie slash book. It can be what, it, you know. It can be whatever. Oh, right. I like to think that I would have died getting a paper cut by licking that fucking every flavor wallpaper or whatever. Do we want to play You'd this friendly right style where there's no Grandpa failure? Joe just fucking tongue touring it. <laughs> nah, let's do Road Tripper. I was gonna say normal style. Do normal style. Yeah, normal do style. Like normal experience as well, or normal difficulty as well. Sure. One more. Ah, uh, the road, that mythical beast of asphalt. We once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, we were young and afraid. Summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott planned for a road trip. The whole thing was bound to go off rails. This was the prank masters after all. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who com compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly Geist, 22, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Each of them oh, the by themselves. Fuck you, an agent of chaos. <laughs> but together, together, they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? Yeah, about that. <laughs> well, I know my answer. I forgot I have multiple playable characters here. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to steal your answer. No, you can't! Oh. I absolutely can. <laughs> oh, bitch. <clears throat> Alright, who's two? I'll be two. Okay. Sorry. Rep is two. Rep, what do you want? <laughs> uh, what's the black thing? That. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> and the uh, bottom row, far right. Mm -hmm. Is that just the Mothman? Kind of. That could be, that's a Mothman. I'll take that. All right. Would you, would Sorry, you the Moth be? Day. Uh, bug. Bug. <laughs> Pro down. Today. <laughs> All right. Who wants three? You could go sec. All right. I will take uh, Frankie. Brian? Nope. 
Yeah. Vicky? I thought they were dead. Vicky. Oh, <laughs> fucking dumb. Um, yeah. Uh, you, you can keep it all the way it is. <laughs> all right. Peace. Uh, David, Look, baby. you can't not expect me to pick the trans allegory. <laughs> What do you think the first crack for me was? <laughs> Make me the yellow shirt. To the right? Yep, there we go. All right. Name it Ace. Ace. All right. Pronoun? And there's only correct one correct answer here, and you're going to hit OK right now. Jen? <laughs> Jen? No, you, you, you tempted me for a moment. I, it was a genuine question. And then when you said that, I'm like, well. <laughs> there is only one correct. Like All right, what kind of vibes we want? Uh, uh, Lo-fi? Yeah, Lo-fi. Let us lull you to sleep. <laughs> was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. Was it poorly planned? Also, yes. Did we do it anyway? Fuck yes. For in the end, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. This game saves checkpoints automatically. <laughs> uh, what is that again? That's hype. I gotta, re I gotta remember how all this shit works. <laughs> Magic, mind, minus money. Uh, let's go to rodeo. No, no, Scott, no. <laughs> we get to see the reverse cowgirl you told me. No, about? that's a rodeo I'd be into. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Rodeos are an exciting celebration of all the best parts of cowboy culture: horseback okay. riding, calf tying, steer wrestling, and eating obscene amounts of pulled pork. Yeah, I crank my hog. Oh, you're dressed like a member of Team Rocket trying to catch a Tauros. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Damn, I'm good. There are lots of events and exhibitions happening today. Which do you want to see? So technically, this is my choice. However, I am open to discussion. So three options will affect any resource, either a bit, somewhat, or a lot. How about fucking fools? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm currently thinking Buck and Bulls because it's the only one I don't know. These will... You will always gain hype. But you lose a certain resource. I see. This one yeah, is like, cool. you you either... You gain... It will affect something either a little bit, somewhat, or a lot. Let's go with the Buck and Bull. Yeah, we can, let's do it. You approach the rodeo announcers and say you want to try riding a bull. Okay. They say, do you want a mechanical bull or an actual bull? Real bull. Do whatever's the most dangerous and the least sensible. Unsensibly dangerous. Coming right up. Jenny, come to the stage. Your friends can watch from the stands. Welcome to the rodeo, everybody. Today we've only we got only the roughest, toughest, sweatiest bulls and bull riders, starting with Jenny. Go, Jenny. Go for the win. Say, how do you win in this sport? Usually, a winner is declared when the bull is exhausted or when the rider needs emergency emergency spinal surgery. Whichever comes first. Now, y'all know our rodeo's a bit different. We don't like exhausting poor animals just for our enjoyment. We like a bull man who can consent to entertain you fine folks. Oh, no. So give it up for the king of shattering the dreams and pelvises of bull riders everywhere, Marty the Minotaur. What's up, Jenny? Ready to ride this bear back into oblivion? Oh, yeah. my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I see that look in your eyes. You don't know if you should be terrified or aroused. I call it going horny with fear. Accurate. <laughs> you should be horny afraid. <laughs> it will be a real challenge to ride me. It's hard, it's rough. And it takes more fortitude than a spot in a battle. 
And that's just the foreplay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You've got this, Jenny! Just establish a safe word, like, oh, get me off this fucking bowl! You absolutely do not got this, but you can't back down now. You just need the right strategy to come out on top. <laughs> How do you ride, Morty? Well, maybe it's too soon to ride, Morty. You barely know each other. Maybe you could just get lunch and take it slow. <laughs> Set the bright mood with suggestive music and lighting while also wearing appropriate rodeo leather. Then you'll be ready for a wild ride. Brew a performance-enhancing tantric potion so you and Morty can transcend flesh and ride for hours into a deeper journey you'll never for- Well... Oh, hell yeah, Blue Chew. <laughs> You lose one magic brewing the perfect tantric brew. You offer some to Morty. Interesting. I've never tried bull riding while tripping, but I'm flexible to new experiences. I'm also just flexible in general. You see what I did there? See? See? Do you, you see, see alright. You see everything. Now that the psychedelics have kicked in, you and Morty are connected mind, body, and soul. You ride Morty to the edge of consciousness and back. You are unmade and remade. You ride him. You are ridden upon. The self is destroyed. You two are no longer separate. You and Morty are a chimera of pure connection. Your souls are entwined. You two are the universe incarnate. That was the most stimulating ride I've ever had. Thanks for the trip. I'll be in my stable rubbing a few out if you need me. And hey, Jenny. Big Boss Coconuts, am I right? <laughs> yep. Big Boss Coconuts, indeed. Jenny, you broke the all-time pole riding record, and you did it while you were high off your ass. Mad respect. <laughs> I'm triple balls Good job, right bro. Now. What does Big Boss Coconuts mean? You don't want to know. You say nothing. Just giving a silent smirk. You and Scott may be friends, but after that trip, only you and Morty are Big Boss Coconuts level friends. You lost two stamina for riding Morty for what felt like aeons, but your journey of self-discovery earned you plus one mind and one soul. Also, the crowd loved watching you and Morty run around tripping balls, making you gain one hype. Damn, we got- we <laughs> gained- wow! <laughs> running around. Damn, that was a lot. That was a lot of stuff. I mean, you happening. lost three total, but gained. Yes. Okay. So now it's three. Rep. Where are we going? Uh. Let's go to the plant area. Can't wait to see more planets. Yeah. After a while, Earth just gets too earthy. Oh, stars. Store monster kind has been fascinated oh, by them for as long as society has been alive. There's nothing like staring at the night sky and realizing that space is massive and timeless, and you're just one speck in an uncaring universe. If that gives you any, then you are ennui. Ennui. Thank you. I'm drinking. Don't worry. There's <laughs> plenty to do at the planetarium besides contemplate your own insignificance. How did I get whatever? For example, you could identify constellations, attend the comet shower, or watch the laser show. Uh. Yeah. All right. So it's guess which or bet a lot. Yeah. Uh. So like this is probably watch the laser show. Okay, I was gonna say, these are more like, kind of like, a traditional gain something, lose something. This is gonna be kind of like the one there where I gambled a lot, and so we gained one of a lot of different things, and minus one of a, some other things. So you're sure you still want to do a laser show? Uh, fuck it. I uh, attend the comic shower. Okay. Lucky for you, there is a comet shower happening tonight. You and your friends settle in the, at the planetarium to enjoy a special viewing. 
This is so cool. I love comic showers. The shooting stars are always so pretty. This do, takes me back do, to do, Camp Spooky. Do, 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 Scott, do, do, remember that do, meteor do, do, shower at the end of summer camp? <laughs> Shut up. Oh yeah. You and I decided to take a break from being super invested in finding a date and Rox get his friends. Yep, it was great. I'm glad we weren't one of those desperate motherfuckers oh. losing sleep over finding a summer honey. I Damn, Wally didn't no. have to scalp you like that. <laughs> what are you guys going to wish for? The stars, sh stars start shooting. Oh, fuck. That's a good question. Damn. Hmm. What do I want to wish for? Wishing for a flask that never empties would be pretty sweet. Or maybe I could wish for a talking octopus that gives me massages. I'm right here. Oh, the Deshaun Watson? No! <laughs> no! I Down! The, world peace. <laughs> the massage octopus sounds so much cooler. I can't decide now. Also, I legitimately <laughs> drooled doing that line. <laughs> Here massage comes the first octopus. shooting star! We have only have one chance for a good wish. Bug, what should we wish for? Massage octopus sounds like a Metal Gear character. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Psycho Mantis massage octopus. Dang, you never know what to wish for. That's why you still have wishes left in your monkey spot. Maybe you could use your wish number one to wish for the clarity to know what to wish for. For for the opportunity to sound cool and spend your wish on a selfless deed. Wish Scott hadn't put his hand in that marmalade jar that was full of wasps. Uh, <laughs> Selfless deed. Lame. <laughs> hey, that's a good wish. It was really nice of you to make my life. To use your wish to make my life nicer, bug. Scott, that reminds me. Is your hand still stuck in that wasp infested marmalade jar? It sure is. I've probably had my hand in this thing for like four hours now. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, that's right. I remember we were going to try to get it off. But then we got distracted by that cool looking cloud and totally forgot about it. That cloud is so cool though. It looked like a duck riding a skateboard upside down. But then if you squinted at it and stood on top of your head, it looked more like a walrus talking, taking a sponge bath. And then when the wasp stung my eyelids and made them swollen and puffy, the cloud looked like a guitar playing snail. <laughs> the wasps? Oh right, shit, uh, Scott, we almost forgot about the jar again. <laughs> You're right, that cloud's so cool, it's still distracting us. Well, better act now before your short attention span runs out again. You smash the marmalade jar with a hammer and the angry wasps fly away. I feel a lot better now. Thanks, Bug. Whoa, did you guys grasp what just happened? Bug wished on a sh the shooting star for Scott to be freed, and their wish came true. You're right, Bug's like a star wishing wizard. If their wish was bound to come true, though, it's a shame they didn't wish for something cooler, like three matching aquatic bikes or something. Well, you're right. That would have been a really cool wish. Oh, well, guess it's a missed opportunity. That's a shame. You lose too high, but gain too soul for being a good friend to Scott. We're at a good balance oh, right now. What's the, um, can you show me this star thing real quick? To the right? The star thing? No, oh, that, that, thing. that this is just destination. So this yeah, I knife land is hype, and already. I have not, and I have not done the others. <laughs> <laughs> knife land is the only one I did in my own time. Yeah. Regular uh, gas station, regular gas biker station. bar. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the biker bar. Biker bar. Come on Welcome down to the, to the biker bar. <laughs> Whatever. Our car is like two bikes platoon. stitched together. <laughs> Breaking bottles, clinking shot glasses, revving motors, the crash of a window some dude just got thrown out of. Such are the dulcet melodies of a bona fide biker bar. Damn, Vicky's fucking it up, dude. Vicky's me oh, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> this is your chance to embrace your inner badass. What do you do? Start a brawl, play some pool, or grab some drinks? Grab some drinks. Oh, we're so fucking back. You and your friends take a seat at the bar. A tough-looking unicorn and a boisterous storm elemental sit next to you. Oh my god. 
Hey guys, didn't know you drank here. Hi Suzanne, we're just passing through on our road trip. Do you and your friend come out here a lot? Yeah, all the time. Whiskey and I own this place. Well, not like literally. Someone else does that, but we own like the cred of this place. I'm glad you said something because I was literally gonna go ace. <laughs> <laughs> We're tight with all the regulars, like Johnny there. What's up, man? How's your niece? The biker whiskey shouting it looks up <laughs> and says, uh, My, my name is Roderick. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Hi, Yago. <laughs> Classic Johnny. Such a jokester. Um, uh, right. That's as loud so, as I can go. <laughs> what's good to drink here? Try the fermented gasoline. It'll put hair on your chest. Sure, the gasoline's pretty good. If you're into fruity stuff, who, <laughs> who, whatever. I'm a screwdriver man myself. <laughs> The bartender slides whiskey, a literal metal screwdriver, in a pint glass. He starts chewing on it vigorously. Ah, you gotta love the authentic rustic flavor. What are you gonna order, Vicky? No pressure, but we're totally gonna judge you based on your choice. Oh, a punch shit, in the uh, face? Fuck. The strongest spirit? The spirit of someone really strong? Or a glass of water? I know, bitch. A glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help but feel nervous about your choice. Your friends are clearly hyping you up to order something intense and alcoholic. But you're thirsty and you like water. You order one, it costs too money. Mm. 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 <laughs> since, since when did they start charging for fucking water here? This place is really going down the tubes. No kidding, but good on you for getting water, boo. Nothing's cooler than a hydrated body. Thank you. And now we have a designated driver. Thanks for looking mm. out for us, bro. Exactly. Why are you looking at us like that? Did you really think we were going to judge you for not ordering alcohol? We weren't serious. It was just a test to see if you could resist peer pressure, and you passed. Oh, we love Dare. Now you get to bask in the glow of pure validation. Oh, yeah. Nice. You earned your friend's <laughs> respect and two stamina from being hydrated. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, they, everyone's going to expect a really gruff voice. <laughs> <laughs> so you just did your voice. <laughs> Correct. Uh, send me to the gift shop. Quote, unquote. Holly, what is this place? I don't really know. What sort of gift shop even is this? Just a pop-up stand in the middle of the desert? What are these products for sale? What are they uh, for? What are they even made of? I was gonna say, check out the boy. <laughs> well, the boy. this is definitely weird, but you uh, might boy. as well. And I know who's voicing the boy. What do you want to do? Bring the shop to the next level? Get the good oh, stuff? We're or investing. Invest investing. You and your friends get out of the car and enter. Whatever this place is. Rep. Greetings, fellow flesh bags. Welcome <laughs> to Noodles Gift Shop. See anything you like? Wow, this stuff is just so cool. <laughs> what is this stuff anyway? Rocks, of course. <laughs> They're the cold silent onlookers and never love you back. <laughs> I have never no seen his full body before. <laughs> Noodles, these rocks are the shit. How long have you been running the stand? Long enough to know better than to answer personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> Add in a couple of squeaks from me drawing on angry yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> nice. 
You're a really good business owner. You've got the makings of an entrepreneurial greatness in you. Does, does, does he though? Of course he does, dum-dum. Check out all that natural business smarts and charisma oozing out of noodle spores. Don't talk about my oozes. <laughs> we gotta invest in this booming business, y'all. These rocks are about to go big. Let's go all in on it now and get ahead of the curve. Po Polly, Polly, no. Don't you remember the last time you invested in a booming business while you were drunk? <laughs> Hey, I don't regret investing in dick shirts. Shirts for your dick. Scott loves them. I'm wearing a dick crop top right now. All we gotta do is decide how to use our business, our investment to expand Noodles' business. Ace, what do you suggest? Advertise and print as newspapers. They're so desperate for relevance that they may feature the stand for free. Officially sponsor a team of competitive rock, paper, scissors players. In times like these, you go big or you uh, go home. Start a cinematic universe. Oh, uh, 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 we're joining the Remedy Cinematic Universe here. <laughs> Good idea. We'll begin with four stages of movies to solidify our rock cinematic universe. Then we'll launch some spin off TV shows and cartoons. That don't actually count toward canon. Then we'll make some sequels and prequels, novels based on the movies, video games based on the novels, maybe an official brand of cereal. And when we're done with all of that, we'll be just in time to re-release remastered versions of the original movies that get that nostalgia money. We'll be rich. Okay, but what are the movies going to be about? Who cares? Show me the money. You spend one money creating this one soulless mockery of cinema. Predictably, these movies are about nothing and nobody likes them. I refuse to know failure! Throw money at it until it works! <laughs> so you do, spending one money again over time. You attract more investors who see some sort of late capitalist potential in the RCU. You get invited to some Hollywood producers' parties. You gain one stamina from the open bars and one magic from the creativity-enhancing powder they let you snort. Holy shit, boss! I just had a great idea. We need to make an RCU theme park. And can we make a motorcycle that's also a coffee machine? That would fuck! Put that in the movie, too. And drugs! Drugs are cool. Add drugs to the RCU. You have to bail out of this money pit eventually, but at least you gained one hype while it lasted. And over the years, from time to time, you hear about some new development in the extended RCU that the current showrunner are doing. Good work contributing to the slow death of art, champ. Now, <laughs> back to the road trip. We did it. We killed art. Ooh, we did it, Patrick. We saved the city. Oh, fuck me. Right. Oh, God. I don't remember. That's new. Uh, so I think the bus stop is where you let's romance pick side up characters. a hitchhiker. Yeah, that's where you pick up a a hitchhiker. Hitchhiker. Yeah. What the info said you can call a hitchhiker, yes. and they'll show up at the next one. Yes. Uh, info stand. I will go to the rest area. So over here, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had yeah. to read. Take me to noodles. Later that night. Welcome to the bar. Welcome to the bartering stand, where you can barter with little trinkets and manage your resources a bit. Each trinket is tied to a resource. You'll lose the resource tied to the trinket you give away, and gain the resource tied to the trinket you take. Also, noodles is here, but I don't know if that's a good thing. How to do, do yes? Are you here to make a trade? I was just, I was saying howdy irregardless of what he was gonna buy. <laughs> I just saw or found all this stuff in the chaotic dimension beyond the breadth of mortal understanding. Feel free to take anything that catches your eye. So you have Scott Snacks, That's How to Road Trip the Book, the sequel to an erotic fanfic about dragons, and someone else's credit card. Oh, we need to keep someone else's credit card. Get rid of the How to Road Trip. We know how to do that already. There's a nobility title, Encyclopedia Necronomica, Haunted Rearview Mirror, or Primordial Soup. That. What's the definition of soup? Anyway, no, shut the, the fuck up. Encyclopedia Necronomica. 
Mind up, mind down is crazy. <laughs> hey, mind up, never mind down. <laughs> nice choice. I actually got that at your 12th birthday party. Huh? Y you what? <laughs> Have a good night. Bronson, shut up. <laughs> this map, this is the map in Bowboard where you can do two things. You can check a map that shows three potential locations nearby. Choose a location to learn how to get there. This guarantees the location will appear on your next turn. On the other hand, you could use the phone to call hitchhikers. When you visit the bus stop next week, the hitchhiker you called will be there. These two options are all about talk taking an extra step to secure an outcome you want, be it a location or a hitchhiker. Which would be funner? Well, calling a hit. Well, I'm picking up a hitchhiker potentially right now. Don't know who it is, but it could All be right, anyone. We'll pick a location. Well, I, I was gonna finish my sentence. Hitchhikers do affect our stats, not yeah, just have, you know like, whatever fucking. Things and give us events too. Yes. So it is truly up to you. Because Jet we'll might get a bad location. one. Yeah, well, location. Okay. Yeah. Plan your route. You have post sightseeing, which will give us plus height, plus soul, minus soul. There's a wild west town that's plus magic, minus soul, and something, because I haven't seen it. And a spa, which is something, plus mind, and minus height. Uh, what do you have for sightseeing? Damn, no fan service. Welcome to the <laughs> benches, where you can relax and talk with either Polly or Scott. The conversations you can hold with them are a chill narrative treat with no choices to be made. If you have enough conversations, you might score a date ending with one of them. Also, by having a conversation with Polly or Scott, you'll activate the chaotic energy passive effect, which will remain active for the following week. What does it do exactly? Find out for yourself. Now go make some small talk. Who do you want to talk uh, to? I'll talk to... Gains and losses from location events are increased by one. One okay, all so resource it's the teams. Thing. It's the same. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Polly. Party etiquette or being a ghost? Being a ghost. Being a so ghost I'm is gonna use dope. The restroom while this is happening. Go piss. I was gonna say I'm also gonna be RB. Go piss. Not only can you go through your afterlife with way less limitations, but it also makes you think. Like, life? Afterlife? How does it even work? Some people are born born ghosts, and other people like me are dead ghosts. We surely don't abide by the same rules as corporeal creatures, but there are rules nonetheless. Ooh, we are ghost rules. Yes, we're not exactly mortal, but as I've learned, we're not immortal either. How that works is still a mystery to me. Same here. Like, some ghosts age, some don't, some do, but at a different paces, it's weird. And some ghosts definitely cease to be. But that's far from the end of it. How so? We keep transforming and transitioning in very different ways. Again and again. Yo, same. So who knows? Tomorrow I might not be here anymore. But maybe I will become something else. Something new. I may be Stardust. I may be Flesh. Once again. I may be a warm, distant memory. I may be a line in a song. She sits in silence, looking at the stars, as she grabs your hand, maybe a bit in awe, maybe a bit in fear. Wherever the prank masters go, hijinks and soup. You hand up the consequences of their mess. Next week, all resource gains and losses from events are increased by one. Oh, boy. Now, I will let you know next week. Uh, that will probably pay off if you go back there. <laughs> uh, good to know. Yeah, uh, from uh, from my playing, uh, persistence is key if you're going for lore like that. <laughs> you get to listen to a very special song, Enjoy. For one week, you'll gain plus mind and lose hype. Oof. Uh, I kind of want to listen to a special song. <laughs> Gotta do the special song. Gotta yeah, do the special song. You invite Brian to join your road trip. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the Brian song. We made a theme song for him. Now you get to enjoy it. You want more? Nah, no, that's not Brian's hey, style. Just sit back, chill out, and vibe with the Brian song. Story. It's the Brian song. <laughs> Brian's here. It's your song. <laughs> I'm on 
monster who's very dear to me. And it goes like this. <coughs> Crawling from the afterlife. I'm back. Came a creature oh, of the night. Look at that. We're listening to Brian's Brian. special song. Brian is the zombie man, but please y'all, let's not pretend that he gives a fuck about any of us. Or you know what, chat? While we're listening to this song, I'm gonna go pour myself another drink. You got the price. I'm back. Welcome it's, back to Brian's it's, it's, Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing Jen stepped away. Yeah. Just for uh, the same jacket and he Oh yeah. He says, Fuck it. There's nothing you can do to make him look less cool. He's not concerned about what you think. And that's what makes him the king. He couldn't care any less. He ain't got no need to impress. Come on, Brian, don't sleep all day. Won't you please just take the chance to show everyone the way with your lazy sunken dance? Come on, let it go. Move your feet. Rybuka, answer. I've, re I've returned. Move your feet like that. What? <laughs> yes. All right. No further questions. We're all back, right? Yeah. Uh, I think. Rep? Unless Rep. Rep was here. I'm here. All okay, right. Cool. All right. Destination progress. Soul is in the lead by one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Make sure we don't run out of money. <laughs> I'm so. Nope. Promises. All right, bug. We've got Animal Sanctuary, which is mystery, soul, and stamina. And we have UFO Sightseeing Spot, which is hype, soul, and minus soul. That's also the thing you, you picked. <laughs> no, say that is also the thing you picked. I think the car battery is running low. Boy, I just, I missed that line. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to voice act here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I have to do things. <laughs> you came uh, here fuck. today to answer the age old question Do aliens exist? Who what knows if, if you'll see these were real? But at least it'll be fun to hang out with the other UFO spotters. So, besides watch the stars and swap extraterrestrial conspiracy theories, what do you want to do? How the fuck did I get that first try? Look for UFOs, make tinfoil hats, or send a message. We'll create that for this. Now, I, I, I'm willing to click on that. I just want to point out, guarantee losing soul means that's the only one we lose. <laughs> All right, then we'll send a message. <laughs> you don't have to. It's just I'm throwing it out there. Well, soul is also the thing we can afford to lose the most of. This is true. So you're sure about that? Yes. Okay, I want to avoid losing money if possible. Okay. It's too foggy to see the UFOs, sadly. Wait, that's not fog, it's smoke. You follow it back to its source and find Caitlyn Abdu. That's not smoke, that's speed. That he gives a fuck about any of us. What's up, guys? Wanna help us send a message to the aliens? I'll send a message to whoever you want if I can bomb a hit off that pipe. What do you want that message to say? Uh, we don't know yet. Whatever it is, it's gotta be really important, you know, like something profound and deep and uh, interesting all at once. Something like a smart man knows the tomato is a fruit. A wise man knows not to put a tomato in a fruit salad. <laughs> That is wise. To make him look less cool. If you guys want to send all the aliens a message to get one back, maybe instead of being philosophical, it should be eye catching. Yeah, something like this. Go ahead. That sounds like too smart of a sentence for me. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, something like <laughs> these stoners sent a message to aliens, and you'll never believe what happened next. Whoa, what happened next? <laughs> <laughs> That's for us to decide, bro. It all depends on the message. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Ah, you're all blowing my mind right now. Futures are. First thing. Oh, oh, you, you guys obviously know what you're doing. Uh, bug. You got any ideas for an attention-grabbing message to send to the alien? Wait, there's aliens, dude. There's fucking aliens, Koopo. <laughs> Koopo. <laughs> Are you still doing crop circles? These tutorials will teach you more artistic ways to deface Earth's dumb, non-gaseous surface. Subscribe now. Eight cool Earth things you must have dubbed at least once in your life. Number six will shock you. Eight cool Earthlings. I like it, but I'm not sure if I know that many, like, objectively cool people. That's okay. You're so hip and cool that you can easily name a few other cool people. Cool Josh, for starters. There's also Rad Richard from school, your pen pal badass Brenda, the homeless man on your block who does kickflips off of parking meters. Oh, yeah, Ollie. I love that guy. Bum the joint off me once and taught me the meaning of life. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Way to go. Way, Way to go. go. Yeah, Here's some uh, of my stash. Find me later. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hit this joint. Uh, it means the quality that distinguishes a vital and functional being from a dead body. Whoa. Deep. That all sounds good, but by my calculations, we're still. And it goes like this. Cross from the afterlife, here came a creature of. Lots of people short. Wow, I can't even count that high on my hand. Well, obviously, the rest of the list is going to be taken up by Kale, Abdu, and your road tripping crew. You're the coolest friends around. I can't count that high oh, on my hand. You corny little shit. Okay, I'm down. We need a cool name for ourselves to make the aliens buy it, though. I love having the Brian song in the background for this. <laughs> it makes oh, shit. It I'm, eat us shit I'm eating a pretzel right now. Give me a minute. <laughs> Uh, maybe it, they're Abdu. cool friends who are objectively very cool. Bro, why are you dibbling? I combined voices there. Why are you dibbling <laughs> on one of my hair tweaks, man? That's perfect, man. I'm hungry. Aliens are definitely stupid and not want to meet us. You guys are the coolest friends I've ever had. had. No aliens well, respond friends. to your message, but you still gain three hype from the power of friendship. However, you do lose three soul for employing clickbait tactics oh to get your message God. across. Six nine, nice. Nice. <laughs> All right, we got the Pancake Diner, which is mystery, stamina mystery, and Simon Soups, which is stamina mystery mystery. God damn it, we're eating. <laughs> I refuse to engage in the soup talk. We're going to the pancake diet. Thank God. Hey, Brian, you want some Scott snacks? I'll take anybody's snacks. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and the best breakfast is a fluffy stack of carbs smothered in syrup. You see that this diner has some absolutely enormous menu options. I hope you're hungry. So many pancakes to eat, so little time. What sort of meal do you want to order? Just All eat right, food so. like a regular person? Eat the biggest meal or a pancake eating contest? Fucking pancake eating contest, baby! You went to the diner and are greeted by the hostess. Welcome to Pancake Paradise. Are any of you entering our pancake eating championship today? Championship? No, I didn't do any warmer thrills or anything. I'll just cheerlead for the sidelines. 
Vicky and I might give it a shot. Maybe there's a cool prize. Psst. Want me to mix some laxatives in the pancake batter to ensure a victory, boo? Tempting. But no thanks. If I'm gonna eat a disgusting amount of carbs to win a competition, I'd rather do it on my own merit. Do I get sprinkles on my pancakes? <laughs> You're not eating any! <laughs> I'm getting a normal thing of a First, you guys need to complete this readiness questionnaire to see if your body can handle the amount of pancake you're about to consume. One, are you legally allowed to consume pancakes in this country? This one? Yes. Let's hope she doesn't ask about Croatia. Two, do you have any syrup allergies? Nope. The only thing I'm allergic to is not having a good time. <laughs> Why'd you say it with the same energy of, yep, what a concept? <laughs> <laughs> I could <laughs> use a little fuel myself. myself. <laughs> <laughs> we could all use a little syrup. I appreciate that this game gives the player character actually lines. <laughs> right, finally, Jesus. For real. Three. Have you taken any appetite enhancing drugs? Entering the competition with the munchies is strictly forbidden. Nah, I'm clean. Today. Fuck! Yes, I'm disqualified. Alright, Vicky. You're good to enter. Which weight class? Do you want to compete in? Oh, no. Pancake Boy Jolly Race, Board to Pancake, The Epic Pancake Tournament Arc, Pancake to the Death, Pancake Beyond, Consume the Concept of Pancake. <laughs> Alright, listen, I know this whole thing has been us going to the extreme. I'm actually gonna go to the one in the middle, if only just because I enjoy the concept of an anime pancake eating. The tournament arc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to fight a boring, bland powerhouse character. You go to a long table where the other competitors are waiting. Many of them have colored hair and weird outfits and general protagonist vibes. Oh, good. I'm only two out of three. I mastered the art of ancient pancake jutsu, one of them is saying. I've trained for nine years inside of an active syrup volcano for this contest. That's nothing. Says another. <laughs> My mother was the Pam Cake, winner of every pancake eating contest since 1964. I'm taking home the gold in her honor. That's nice, sir. Would you like to supersize your drink for a dollar more before the competition starts? I would like it mega supersized. It's the only drink size worthy of my power. <laughs> I'll... <laughs> I'll just bring you the soda hose. Knock yourself out. I love this game. Shit, these competitors are really serious. Maybe you're in over your head. Don't worry, Vicky. You got this. I'm your sensei now, and I'm going to coach you to victory. You got to open your chakras to win this thing. But most of all, you got to open your butt chakra. Butt chakra? Do you mean my anus? Yeah, but I'm going to keep calling it a butt chakra. Sounds more powerful and less icky. And remember, bro, the best athlete is only as good as his sporting equipment. For you, that's gonna be this toilet I took from the bathroom. <laughs> Are we just trying to expedite the process of shitting? Yeah. <laughs> this we're we're to creating a, a flow cycle here. <laughs> we're trying to become a poop factory. Got it. Food in, shit out. Food in, shit out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Got a machine head? It's better than the, red? <laughs> the eating contest begins, and with your butt chakra wide open, you smoke the competition on your porcelain throne. What a sentence. Wow, that was <laughs> the worst thing I've ever seen. But you won. Congrats, I guess. 
seeing her just like no eyes just like i have been scarred for the rest right. of my life fucking ring Ray, like, god damn it <laughs> you gained three hype for winning but you lose three stamina from the uh, butt chakra strain don't strain your butt chakra Oh fuck, uh, Ace, alright. Oh, Cryptic yeah, Tech fuck. Company or Rave in the Desert? We are low on money. <gasps> Fine, <laughs> Cryptic Tech Company. <laughs> I'm like, we, I'm like, you could do it. Finally, some respite from wacky stuff. Oh god damn it! You stomp on the side of the road so Brian can get his daily dose of chilling. After a power nap, you gain two mind. When there's no wake up, there's a car identical to yours, but blue on the other side of the road. Oh no. Hey, bros! Nice car! Thanks, bro! We're on a road trip! We stopped to rest to gain some stamina back! We were on a road trip too! We were last for a bit and gained some mind! What's the deal with that? If you rest, you gain stamina, but if you relax, you gain mine. How do you even tell the difference? Beats me. And what's with the rest stops anyway? Why do they all look the same? And how come Noodles is always there? <laughs> and the bus stops. We've seen dozens of bus stops and never a single bus. Same. I think we're just driving in a circle. <laughs> we found poor Brian here sitting on one of those. He had been waiting for a bus for like three full days. Say hi, Brian. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we also took a hit tracker from one of those bus stops. His name is Byron Blast. <gasps> With a. Yo, 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 what up, everybody? <laughs> Pro Snooker Master DJ and Washboard Apps ever, Byron Blast, in the car. <laughs> Turn up that radio. <laughs> this road trip just became a road party. <laughs> I was about to try to do my best fucking morning radio host voice, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, that's <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> we both had the same joke. Isn't he the coolest hitchhiker ever? Oh, does that mean Byron is cooler than Brian? No fucking way, Scott. Brian is clearly the coolest hitchhiker. I mean, look at him. You have any stacks left? Or... Ace, come on, we have to show these wannabe road trippers that Brian is the cooler, superior hitchhiker. The key to Brian's coolness is that he doesn't give a shit. No one is as over everything as Brian you. As Brian you, he's too tired to care. Little known fact about Brian, he could unhinge his jaw, then bees pour out. That's the first one. Like, that's just, yeah. That's just chill. real. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Brian doesn't give a fuck, and that makes him the coolest hitchhiker. Well, we once went to a rave in the desert and Byron crowd surfed with his actual surfboard. Has Brian ever crowd surfed anything, surfboard or not? See? Brian doesn't give even a fuck about crowd surfing. Coolest guy I've ever known. Well, what about the time Byron defeated the dungeon boss by crowd surfing with his actual surfboard? <laughs> Then, what about when I managed to save the world by defeating an evil villain with a serving competition? <laughs> Kelly Slater, is that you? Uh, hey, you guys have any snacks by chance? Ah! <laughs> See? Coolest hitchhiker ever. Way better than a dude whose pro personality is owning a surfboard. No! I'm the coolest! I own all my apps! All my apps? All my apps! No! I'm the coolest! I own all the apps! I crowd surf? Me, not him! Ah. 
It shouldn't have been me, not him! I it's not my abs! Stop, stop creeping over me! That's him! <laughs> All my abs are gone! <laughs> In his frustration, Byron Blast explodes in a cloud of surfboards. Bro, no! Byron and I were about to have our deep conversation at the next rest stop! <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. He's gone now. I have had literally no agency during this entire portion. <laughs> After road trip rules, now your hitchhiker gets to wear the in his name. Here, have it. Please tell me Brian's name is now Brian and everything. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brian throws the Brian. away like the chat he is, and then you all go back to the road. You still lose too hype, though, and not giving a photo score, but it's not exactly hype. Crowd surfing on the other hand, that'd be hype. Oh shit, the actual thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've never seen technology this advanced before. Finally, you can answer questions like, what's the future of virtual reality? Is crypto really the currency of tomorrow? And what the fuck are NFTs anyway? There's so much to see, but only so much time. You want to check out True so AI, fun. the oh, metaverse, no. or the algorithm? Oh no. This is so fucked. Ace doesn't even get to be in the VR. <laughs> <laughs> we, he's not allowed. <laughs> oh man, I gotta pick between two shitty ones for money. I assure you, don't worry, this game's gonna beat the shit out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, True AI. Let's fuck Cortana. <laughs> Captain? I was gonna say, Ace would fucking put on the headset and you just hear like the loudspeakers everywhere just go. No, I, I'm not that on me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you walk into a room full of elegant people. There's a pianist, waiter serving sushi, and some engineers taking notes. You couldn't care any less. Ah, oh, yes, says one engineer. Welcome to the showcase of our latest invention, an AI that can pass for a regular monster. We're actually doing a publicity stunt right now. There's one robot in the room with us. If you can correctly guess who it is, you'll win a cash prize. I hope it's Calculester. Please be Calculester. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Holly, are you the robot? I don't think so. I could dance a mean robot. But that doesn't mean I am one. What about you, Scott? Are you the robot? I don't know. Could a robot be a good boy? I think that's if it an as well. Program that way, sure. Really? The maybe I am the robot. I can't believe I have to say this, but no, Scott you isn't the robot. How do you know that, Ace? Are you the robot? No, none of us are the robot! <laughs> this is so real! Wait! <laughs> this is so real! <laughs> Sounds like something a robot would say. I want to go for now, when you're on thin fucking ice. Move your feet real slow. Well, if none of us are a robot, how are we going to figure out who here is the robot? <laughs> I'm just dead glaring at the specific fucking robot in the room. <laughs> the literal like a calculus is just over there, not even like dressed so up, just standing, yes, yeah, sweating <laughs> profusely. <laughs> Pretend to be dismayed by every conversation you hold as an excuse to throw your drink over your, interlocu your interlocutor as a sign of strong disrepute. disapproval. Start conversations on topics that would be hard for a cold, logical mind to truly comprehend and see who cracks first. That second one. I'm going to start asking people what the definition of soup. Oh, God damn it. You, th you three approach a group of socialites sitting on some sofas and talking. Which is so tragic. One woman is saying, Mother's illness has progressed to the point of no return. The doctors say she only has a few weeks left. Fuck that noise, you should try healing crystals. Everyone knows illnesses are caused by a buildup of bad vibes. Just rub some clear quartz on her forehead and you'll suck those shitty vibes right out. That makes sense. Say the socialites. Healthcare is free in most of the world, but healing crystals aren't. And everyone knows expensive things are always better. True. You notice one rich man not taking part in the conversation. 
He's being strangely quiet. You could also try putting your mom on an old raw meat diet. The muscular bros I've watched on YouTube say fermented liver gets all the toxins out of their biceps. Oh my god! The man is being noticeably quiet now. You think you see smoke coming from his ears. I'm all for trying to anything to help mothers, says the woman. What if the crystals in the raw liver don't work? And she's a lost cause. Well, it's like I always say, when in doubt, turn to the power of prayer. Why don't we join hands and pray right now? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy... <laughs> the quiet man's head explodes and showers everyone in twisted metal. Hopefully not three or four. Fuck those games. <laughs> oh, no. Our prayer made that guy die. Is he saved? <laughs> Only if the devil is a robot. We did it, gang. You win three money for fighting the robot, but you lose three mind for resorting to illogical tactics to do it. Damn, we're good. Uh, I wish we could have done it without resorting to illogical dad dicks. Huh? All right, uh, so, I of doom or guy competition. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, uh... What is that? Plus mind. We're good on mind. We don't need less soul than what we have. That's plus soul, plus money. Uh, let's go to here. You mean take the wheel for a bit? Ooh, the driving dead. Never say that again. Topical. Wow, the evil energy here is palpable. Every villain who's any villain must be here. You don't know if you consider yourself to be truly villainous, but then again, your life's philosophy is be your worst self. Move your feet real slow. The train going into fucking... <laughs> Which is close enough, apparently, because they give you an entry pass at the door. Sweet. There are plenty of events being hosted. Which one interests you the most? <laughs> Zoe's version of the trolley problem is that she doesn't have enough trolleys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Round table on fighting track. good. I ended a whole timeline and you can two panel or evil plan workshop. Uh, I don't think we're in danger of losing anything significantly. So I'm going to go with that one. You're sitting at a table surrounded by other evil hotties. Looks like everyone's taking turns introducing themselves. Oh my god. Hello. I'm Evil Joy. Hold on, wait, I wait, I can Hold on, wait, I can do this better. Wait, I can do this better. I can do this better. Hold on. Oh no. Oh, here comes voice mod, everybody. Hold on, I can do this better. Yep. Crawling from the Came a creature of Hello, I'm Evil Joy, leader of the. Oh wait, chat can't hear that. <laughs> well, leader of the evil coven from a darker timeline, which I single-handedly destroyed. <laughs> Neither chat nor us in Discord could hear whatever Jed was trying to do there. Wait, really? And you could hear Correct. Yeah, we did hear it. <laughs> I'm like, Jen, you're gonna be riding that fucking switch back and forth between normal voice and demon. No, I got this. Jen switching? Oh, more That's likely more, than more likely than you think. Than you think. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, there yep, we go. There you go. Alright, awesome. Hello, I'm Evil Troy, leader of the Evil Coven from a darker timeline, which I single-handedly destroyed. He's not concerned about what you think, and that's what makes I am Dmitri, commander of the dark side. My life's mission is to engulf this grail in the dark side's cold, luscious embrace. I am also in a torrid honor game off again. A forbidden romance with evil joys, hotter heroic tweet. Damn. It's all very fun and morally gray. <laughs> Hi, I'm Axorax. I also dated Joy, but I won't lie, I've been kind of a 
See, dear antagonist, in season three of The Coven aired, I was just happy to get invited here. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ace, you're the only one that does it. Oh, yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm Salome, the warlockess. Mm -hmm. Nothing pleasures me more than an evil plan going horribly, horribly right. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Though having sex with hot joy is probably a close second. Oh my evil goddess! Can we talk about literally anything other than how bad you all want to fuck my non-evil twin? This is so awkward for me! Wow. Is anyone else sensing some real villainous chemistry here? We should form an evil team. Ah, genius. What should we call ourselves? Maybe the fuckers of joy? After all, everyone here wants to see Joy get fucked over one way or another. Well, fuck me. That hope is hard to find these days. I suppose I'll lead your stupid Joy Clockers Brigade if I must. Why would you be the leader? You're the only one here who hasn't actually fucked with Joy. Crawling from well. afterlife, came a creature <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> you didn't, did you? Because if you did, you're yeah. legally required to tell us. In yeah, great detail, I have my notebook. You're not actually in interested in thwarting the coven, but you're starving for a sense of belonging. You want to join the fuckers of joy, too. No way! You've proven yourself a friend to the coven, Jenny! How do we know we can trust you? Jesus fucking Christ! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Was, was like, oh. My fucking god! <laughs> Thank you for that $100? Oh, one big show isn't done yet. He ain't somewhere else. Jilla, thank you for the hundred fucking dollars. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, I have the thing on the snow. <laughs> thank you for the hundred fucking dollars. Jesus Christ. Thank you for releasing. God damn it. Thank you for releasing. We are now only $80 away from cursed... Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Fuck me. Thank you so much. True. How can they trust you? How do you convince these villains to let you join their ranks? Offer to join the coven as a double agent. You'll become a witch. While you get to mingle with three hot witches and four hot villains, zero ethics, all thirst. Do that thing where you stab your own hand with a knife. It always impresses people for some reason. I mean... Need luck. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> that actually isn't a bad idea. The Coven already trusts you, and it'd be useful to have somebody on the inside gathering intel for us. Go for it. Your, like, chair movements in the fucking voice filter sound crazy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I normally have the hear myself option on, but obviously for chat, I don't. <laughs> so, yeah. sweet, I didn't read that. It's actually just Joy's apartment. <laughs> she gave you the address because you're such a good friend who would never betray her. In there, you learn plus three magic in your coven training lessons, and later you compile a list of intel to pass on to the fuckers of joy. Let's see. Joy's blood type is a positive. Joy sings in a musical band called Ventagram. If Joy was a soup, she'd be a... What in the hell? This information is useless! Wait, maybe it's not. What if we wanted to turn the coven into soup? 
now we know which soup not to, to turn joy into. You're just morphing into fucking, uh, <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe this isn't bad. <laughs> yes, great job, Jenny. But could you go back and uh, get some more juicy intel? I misread intel at first. <laughs> Like, who is better in bed, Axorax or Salome? Go, ask her that. <sighs> I think I finally understand why the Coven is undefeated in this timeline. You keep going back and forth between the Coven and the fuckers of joy. You get lots of juicy, useless intel. Although it's all dumb stuff that would never get put to the put the coven in danger, it's uh, still not cool to be a double agent. And for that, you get minus three soul. Fuck my ass. My ass. My ass. <clears throat> Bug. Uh, noodle stand. All right. Sorry, I had to turn uh, OBS off of the thing. Noodle stand. Gotcha. Mhm. Mm Vicky. I'm gonna go back to the rest area. Ace. Hmm. Where do you want to go? Uh, personally, I'm probably gonna go to the bus stop because I think that's usually where I talk to Brian. Okay. Or assuming so I don't want to pick info. up somebody else. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll send you the info. Do we want to keep Brian? I mean, he's a very neutral body, so like, I don't mind having him around, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Howdy doodly. Welcome to Noodle Slop Shop. I've got all sorts of kooky crap to trade you. If you got anything worth trading me. Okay, we got gas canister, the sequel to an erotic fanfic about dragons, postcard from your mom, and Encycl Encyclopedia Necronomicon. Uh, we probably... Magic is our fuel, so that's that. This... Soul? I want to say soul, which we desperately need. To oh, we know. Maybe to. soul is oh. postcard from your mom. Oh, you're right. Postcard is from mom. Encyclopedia so is mine for sure. If, if you're going to trade anything, gas canister, honestly, yeah. is probably the safest option. <laughs> yeah. Instant noodles, horse costume, but only. I went to heaven and all I got was this dumb t shirt. T shirt. Heaven shirt. Treasure map. Okay. <laughs> hey, that was actually really good. <laughs> Great choice. You want to know how I got that thing? It's pretty funny. Noodles proceeds to tell you the most fucked up, soul withering anecdote you've ever heard. And none of the children survive. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, enjoy your purchase. <laughs> this is why you are playing. It's... All right, you can pick a location or call a hitchhiker. Um, hmm. I'm Let's down for either. Location. Pick a location. Monster truck deathmatch, the dynast, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't tapped in. I was like, what's the third one? And then I tapped back over. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so, same again. What's up? They both say the same thing. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go with uh, Polly again. Mad skills a chest or a toilet wine? Ooh, mad skills a chest. What can I tell you about good old chess? Castle early, control the center, create a favorable pawn structure. I'm taking notes. Look, the best thing you can do is the best thing you can do is read theory and then play, 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 and then play some more. You need to exercise your chest muscle until the patterns and concepts transcend from reason to intuition. That's my trick, really. I've been playing chess with my mom since forever, and she happens to be a grandmaster. She and I are so different. She's such a calm, collected woman. I love her. And with our personalities being written in completely different languages, chess has become our common denominator. Our shared space. We find each other in chess. I... I think we get to understand each other through chess. So yeah, 
Being raised by a chess grandmaster definitely helps. I'll say. Nowadays, I only seek out challenging high-stakes <clears throat> matches, or it can get very boring very quickly. I've developed a trick, though, to combat boredom, that is. I build stories and personalities for my pieces, and then I play accordingly. My B1 knight is secretly in love with my F1 bishop. I must move the knight close to its lover and be ready to sacrifice it to save the bishop. So I focus on all these little stories and whatnot. That way I don't get too bored by an otherwise too easy match. Don't tell Liam. I always need to do this when I'm playing against him. And I suspect he thinks he's putting up a fight based on how focused I seem. It's cute. Silly Liam. Oh. Yes. Silly Liam. Anyway. Yeah. I, I do love chess. On the real, though, if I could for a second. What the fuck? Pollyanna is just fucking Hafumi Togo from fucking Persona 5. <laughs> All right, let me ruin this sweet moment for a second. <laughs> and? I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing. I'll keep talking to Brian. I think Brian's cool. What about your ambitions? Uh, none? Like, zero? Yeah, I don't know. Everyone seems so stressed about goals and ambitions and whatnot. But... Who cares, really? Stress is not my thing, Jenny. I guess it's another way of looking at life. It's my way for sure. Maybe I could try that sometime. There are times when I feel like I'm in an endless race where I can't stop to consider things because there's no time to lose. But then I'm not even sure where it's leading or if I'll even make it to the finishing line. Yeah. I like to think life could be about something other than big plans for the future, you know? Big fans. I mean plans. Life is happening right now. That's true. So it feels absurd when people ask, where do you want to be in five years? Like, how could you even know that? If anything, I care about where I'll be at the end of the week. Hopefully somewhere chill. Maybe eating some fries. Man, I like fries. I don't know. Does all this sound dumb, or... Sometimes I say dumb stuff. It's not dumb at all, Brian. Good. Let's celebrate by eating some fries. I don't think I want to wait until the end of the week. Sounds like a plan. And so, you two spend the rest of the night eating some fries and looking at the stars, without worrying about what tomorrow uh, might bring. It's... refreshing. Not worrying about- I'm the first! Fries. Where did the fries come from? Don't, we don't worry about these things. I'm gonna go use the bathroom hey, again. I'll be you right go back. You go piss! Tell you a story I about the zombie man. <laughs> oh, yes. Chat! I Oh, sorry, I'm gonna no, no, go ahead. To me. No, go for it. It goes like this. <clears throat> I had nothing. I was just saying chat. Life came a creature of the night. Don't worry, he's Brian. Brian is the zombie man. I am back. He's I was having trouble with my food. Pretend. You're good. Welcome back. Any of us or anything, really. <coughs> Brian will give you the chills. In fact, he's pretty chill. Don't be scared. He won't fight. He would rather eat some french fries Now you know it's true Brian won't come to bite you So join me, sing with me And move your feet real slow Whoa, 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 whoa. Brian the zombie Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Brian the Pat, if you were a ghost, would you want to haunt a person or a place? I guess whoever's still here in the right. call can answer that too. Jacket, Wait, what was it? If you were a ghost, would you want to haunt a person or a place? You can pick the person or the place as well. I don't know why this is factoring in, so what I'm thinking on it, but am I locked to the clothes I died in? Nah, I think it's funnier 
Dance if you can change. Then haunt a person. Okay. Who? <clears throat> I'm going to know. <laughs> I wasn't sure I, mean, you... like, I don't want, necessarily want to haunt someone that I like or that I love, because, like, that's fucked up to live with someone haunting you. But I also don't want to haunt somebody I hate, because I don't want to spend that much time with someone I can't stand. Yeah, but you could lead them to the er their end. I don't want them to fucking join me in the afterlife. Matt, you'll move on, because your purpose will have been fulfilled. <laughs> what is this awful question you've asked? <laughs> if you were a ghost, would you want to haunt a person or a place? Okay. So with my haunting, does it actually have to be a haunting, or can I just follow them? What it... If okay, Ex elaborate why it, you don't want it to be a haunting. So, my thinking behind it, and I say this as a married man, um, is say I were to die before my wife, if I could quote unquote haunt my wife, you know, at the very least I'd be able to keep her company while she's still alive, mm. is kind of the thought. I think at the end of the day, it's got to be a net neutral, like, you need to do. For every like positive thing you're doing, it, there also needs to be a negative thing. Like it needs okay, to balance okay. out. It either okay. needs to tip towards the negative, or be a net neutral. Okay, so what you're saying is, is that nine to five, I have to haunt somebody, but then I can come home to my wife. No, 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 no. no. I'm <laughs> saying it's the, you're locked to that one person. So you have to you have to make the decisions like. Oh man, I really want her to get this promotion today. What bad things do I have to put in her way for that Ooh, to happen? Ooh, I see. I like, ah, oh, she's got a stubber toe at least three times in the in one morning. What are we? And then she has a less busy day at work. Okay. If you, all right, so Jen, if you were a ghost, would you want to haunt a person or a place? My, my default is person, just because that's fun. Who would you choose? Do you have a that's person in mind? That's the hard part. <laughs> my default is one. Joss, but haunting you sounds so entertaining. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It definitely had to be a person, I think. A place just don't... I, I, I don't have a place where like my heart's at that... I feel like would be good for defending. Like, Brian always wears as my much thought as is, if I was haunting a place, I could just like there's a constant stream of people to fuck with. That is true. Like, I can be so many people's stories. That is fair. But for me, I'd rather fuck with someone that I know, which I guess is just That's my introverted fair. nature show. <laughs> No, that's totally fair too. I like sex where he's like, I want to hold my wife, but I only want good things to happen. I was like, no, you cannot do that. <laughs> it must not you are ghost. not allowed to be a good ghost, you motherfucker. You're a ghost, not a guardian angel. All right, fine, I'll haunt You don't know the rules of ghosting? I know the actually, rules no, of ghosting. I get ghosted all the time. <laughs> I was just about to say, just because you get ghosted doesn't mean... <laughs> I'm right, going fine. ghost. All right, fine, I'd haunt the Texas governor's mantra. <laughs> base, 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 base. Okay, I have my person, the okay, Texas yep. governor. Just the cool <laughs> <laughs> Even <laughs> after they leave office. I was going to say, Ford whoever is, is in office. On. Dressed constantly, I'll be the little wind on his wheels. Well, Jen, I know where we have to go. Sorry. Why would you, why do you want to become a car anyway? Wait, Don't worry, I'm paying on attention. Car. On a hot, sunny day like this, a lake visit is the perfect way to beat the heat. It's also the perfect excuse to see your hot friends in swimsuits. True. Not that you were fantasizing about that this whole time. <coughs> no, definitely not. <coughs> anyway, what do you do now that you're here? Go swimming, build sandcastles, or collect seashells. Um, we're decent on all of these, really. 
Uh, build Santa castles. Okay. You're having fun building sandcastles when you notice that your sandy abodes have acquired some new tenants. I will move on. No, no, move on. That's perfect. There's hermit crabs moving into our sandcastle. Oh, yes. That's dope. We have king and queen crabs now. You guys are like the king makers of the lake. Yep, and check out the king's brother sharpening that shell shard into a spear. I smell a regicide coming on. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Stu. What are you doing at the lake? Oh, fuck. What are we doing here? Aren't you lifeguards? <laughs> oh, yeah, good catch. That explains these rescue floaties and this whistle and why my swimsuit says lifeguard. <laughs> As the lifeguards, we gotta check to make sure your sandcastles don't have any OSHA violations. Yep, that's them's the rules for some reason. I can't tell. I can tell you already. These castles aren't up to code at all. Love our dudes. We'll be back with the paperwork to condemn them. It should take five minutes to an hour, depending on if we forget what we're. We have to do something, bros. If they could dim our sand castles, the king and queen Snippy won't have a place to call home. There's gotta be some way to get the castles up to code before the lifeguards return. Time to save your crabs from total ocean annihilation. You may have to replace the sand with another material. Sand isn't well known for its integrity as a material. You probably have to ditch the murder plaza. Chances are the murder plaza is the least safe part of the sand castle. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of the murder plaza. Aww. The original murder sites. <laughs> Aww, are you sure? The murder plaza was like the best part of the castle. We just had to rechristen it. The spread so long, smoking my thirsty sand dollars. <laughs> How are King and Queen Snippy gonna have sexy knife play Thursdays now? In their private quarters. Actually, it's King Scuttle now. King Snippy was mysteriously found dead with a seashell spear in his thorax. Oh. Where's his body found? The murder plaza, obviously. It's the batting. God damn it. You lose three hype getting rid of the awesome murder plaza and all its amazing sand torture devices. But it's for the best. It's ta, dudes. Ready for us to hand down our verdict? <laughs> Stu, check it out. They got rid of the murder plaza. That puts you right in OSHA compliancy, my dudes. Wow, that was pretty easy. We need to be able to clear out the mold of the guest house. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> OSHA certifications are stupid, easy to get. <laughs> as long as you don't have asbestos, murder plazas, less than three windows, you're good to go. <laughs> Great! You gain three mind from the relaxing joy of building a sand castle. Sands murder plaza. Did it? See, we didn't go through right. any sort of trauma. Yeah! Until we go to Night Falls there. <laughs> wow, synchronized snoring! <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn it, I, I'm not... <laughs> this entire city lies? is protected by a giant impenetrable wall. Strange. The guards at the gates seem as just as surprised to see you as you are to see them. We've never had a visitor before, they say. How did you escape the jaws of the ravenous giants? Oh, you look, really Zek. Attack on Titan reference. <laughs> you don't really know what they're talking about. You get the impression these villagers don't get out much. Some further investigation of this place is warranted. What do you want to check out? There's a warrant out for this place? Ah, uh, well, you know church sure that's probably gonna be fine a weird secluded village like this must have some intriguing ideas like about religion and the afterlife mm -hmm. <laughs> it is still playing this whole time you go i've check been the playing church. the whole time <laughs> there are several major churches in the town square with arguing crowds outside oh sweet dueling religions 
I don't want to be intolerant of your beliefs. He gets any hate. He says what priest. There's nothing. But your beliefs are wrong and dumb and might are right. And you should be ashamed. Okay, Ed. <laughs> you couldn't care any less. Is this still me? I don't know. The Temple of Tiny Folk teaches us that the giants are a punishment for our lives of sin. They'd stop eating us if we went to confession and banned all violent video games. I'll fucking kill you for that. <laughs> oh, I think that was you. <laughs> oh, shit. You're wrong, says another priest. <laughs> the first church of giant saints teaches us that the giants are here to save us, not punish us. The giants are God's holy messengers. God's language is consumption. And with the giant's bellies is the promised afterlife. Another no, priest says. No, this is the afterlife. <laughs> Part of the church of nihilism, we're already dead. And the giants are a metaphor for our sins. Literally biting us in the asses. <laughs> weird like old man ads. <laughs> <laughs> I think the giants are holy metaphor too. They're a metaphor for the instinctual desire to have sex with your mother. Get the fuck out of here, Oedipus. Please go to therapy. <laughs> oh, hello, new visitors. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do we all go for this? Oh, <gasps> not really. Great! Glad to oh, have you! you. <laughs> oh, no, they said no! <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just your life. Yeah, great! Glad, glad to have you aboard. Fuck that guy! Now, do you believe that the giants are forces of evil? Or, uh, the other one? I don't know. Maybe they're just forces? I've never liked how some religions are force of black and white morality. Wrong, Wrong answer. answer! What about oh, you, shit. Harry Man? <laughs> <laughs> I think the giants are a metaphor too. Hey, For what? Let me tell you a story. Yeah. Be really zombie man. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it is all of us! <laughs> Interesting <laughs> theory! <laughs> Oh, uh, the spiel! Heaven. I like that so word, spiel! So out of any of us spiels! Is there a particular <laughs> church that attracts you? you? Church that you? Church that print and fuck! <laughs> Dang, I don't know, there's so many options! Jenny, which religious theory sounds most appealing to you? Giants are a punishment for God. We need to prove ourselves worthy to pass the test of God, which is a literal 30-question test with a written essay. Giants have been guarding the walls for so long because they're NBA scouts looking for new talent. Welcome to the church of... We're so fuck, we're so fucking ballin'. <laughs> Wonderful. Then as we say in our church, God just sent his draft list and it looks like the end. Sweet, that was easy. So what are we? So what are some of the tenets of the Church of Basketball? To be accepted into God's sacred lineup, you must commit to being the best athlete you can be. You can start by following the five basketball commandments. Number one, it's not traveling if it's cool. <laughs> Number one, thou shalt not run with the ball <laughs> without first dribbling it. Traveling is the utmost sin, praise him up. God damn, damn you're good. <laughs> Number two, thou shalt respect the wisdom of the referee. Number three, thou shalt not hit the ball with a closed fist, or with throw the ball, or bat it with one or both hands. Four, three pointers are super cool. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Number four, thou shalt observe halftime in a 15 minute interval to rest, rehydrate, and pray. Mm hmm. Number five, thou shalt not murder. That makes sense. Murder is strictly <laughs> against the rules of basketball. Cool beans. What are your church services like? We do basketball drills, but in a God-honoring way. You know, without adultery. Oh. You change into sportswear and spend the next hour learning sacred basketball plays. Oh my god. Great four, Polly. Jenny, make sure you make it easier to do it a lordly layup. I have terrible knees, Scott. I, you can't do this to me. I don't know which one you just went, oh my god, for, because yes. it could realistically be <laughs> Excellent coaching, brother Scott. Huh? 
the priest says, giving him a pious slap on the ass. <laughs> Let's take a break and enjoy some Eucharist snacks. These protein bars represent the Lord's muscles, and the sports drink represents his blood and electrolytes. It's got what Jesus craves, electrolytes. After the break, I'll teach you the theological three-pointer and the Hail Mary but basketball. You know, bros, this has been fun, but I don't think I want to spend my life worshipping only basketball. All the other sports I like would get jealous. Blasphemy! Cries the priest from across the court. If you're ready to bail, I am too. I'm freaking exhausted. Who knew being an athlete of God would take so much minus three stamina? You tiptoe out while the priest is replacing his holy sweatband. At least you gained three hype while playing basketball. I'm trying so hard to not do hype, and yet here we the fuck are. <laughs> we are also horribly fucked on stamina. Uh, there's a circus. Finally, you can be clown without people noticing, or a roadside wig museum. Um, uh, oh god, looks like real pro museum is so tempting though, but I guess we'll go to the circus. I mean, we can go to the roadside. Guaranteed money means we don't lose stamina. <laughs> uh, oh fuck, you're right. Yeah, we need stamina, not money. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, roadside wig. Okay. Ah, uh, trading money for stamina. Just like a real worker. Look at him, always in the zone. Wigs of every color, shape, and style, from afro to updo, are on display here. You never knew there was such a rich history to artificial hair. There are plenty of things to check out at the museum. You decide to... Why does Scott have a Hatsune Miku wig on his ass? Is that you? Check out the exhibition, attend the kids tour, or visit the gift shop. <laughs> check out the exhibitionist. Hi? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> go for the gift shop. You stop by the gift shop because nothing's as perfect road trip souvenir like a discounted wig. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful wig shop. A fantastic follicle. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, cool. Last night, I dreamt I had the sub sandwich that never ended. I ate and I ate, and the sandwich kept happening forever. Can you make that dream come true, please? Uh, no, it, it wasn't. You know, a, a figure of speech. <laughs> it's a bit superlative to my taste. But I'm required by contract to say it to every customer. It's super low what? <laughs> Look, we just sell the weeks. That's about it. What about Merkins? Ah, uh, sorry. What about my dream from last Tuesday? I was an honor in that one. Did you make that one come true? <laughs> no, you're too big for that. <laughs> you're a bear. Vicky, choose a wig so we can leave before our good boy gets even more entangled in his own confusion. Uh, copy that. The cool squirrel, <laughs> the spaghettiest, or the shoujo showstopper? Oh, uh, we gotta go shoujo showstopper. <laughs> set this one correct answer. <laughs> we only sell those to people who are certified the magical warriors fighting for justice. So are you a certified magical warrior fighting for justice? Uh, maybe? I'm about to go on my lunch break, so I'm going to deem that answer good enough. Hey. After paying three money, you put on your new wig and you're suddenly enveloped in bright fuchsia light. You rise into the air. You can feel your body changing, becoming more powerful, drawing immense energy from the cosmos. Your outfit changes to match your new do. It's like a sailor uniform, but pinker and sluttier, with frilly thigh-high socks. 
Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> you look amazing, Vicky. You're like a sexy, powerful astronaut with just enough romantic tension to keep the audience hooked through several seasons. No, no, Scott. In this look, I'm no longer Vicky. I'm Miraculous Vicky, the magical protector of urine. Sorry, I should say it right. <clears throat> The magical protector of Uranus. Yeah! You were gonna say Uranus. <laughs> so you're drawing your magic power from Uranus? Oh man, that is gonna be a branding nightmare. You take the wig off because Uranus's power is so explosive that it should only be used in number one emergencies. Hey, that'll, that's only if I eat McDonald's. Or should I say number two emergencies? <laughs> okay, what is this with me place. getting pee pee poo poo fucking shit? <laughs> <laughs> Man, these signs really sure. <laughs> these signs feel targeted, but they can't be for me. <laughs> well, your short affair with the shoujo showstopper has given you three magic. God bless Uranus. I have no gallbladder. This is <laughs> All right. So. Oh, we went to the circus. Do you want to go to the carnival? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Bug, I do recommend, uh, there is a stamina up option over here, and we are a little low, but I'm willing to go whichever way you want. Let's go them all. Let's go. What did you pack in your bag, Brian? Um, just the essentials, fries, and a pillow. Today! <laughs> the shopping mall. It's a place where you can sort of shop online, but, like, offline. You can feel ya. <gasps> You're young yeah, again by reviving good old ways of having <laughs> fun with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to have fun? Arcade, pizza parlor, or shoplifting? <laughs> so pizza parlor is confirmed stamina? Yes. Good. You're looking for the food court when you see your friend Valerie sitting on the center fountain and texting. She looks up and smut shut up and smiles at you. <laughs> hey guys, long time no see. I'll bring you to the mall. That's, yeah, that's just real. That is just that is just Jen right there. Hi Val. Bought a road trip and stopped to get some lunch. What's the best place to eat around here? Let me tell you. Bad question. All the food here is garbage. I can take you to the least garbage food they serve. <laughs> God, you thought you were free of me, but no, this is my full-time job. You thought there was a new character, but it's me, Dio. Welcome to Pozo's Pizza, where every slice is sliced with love. Except we're fresh out of love. So we've been slicing it with a pocket knife that the chef used to cut the game. Oh shit, I'm in. Is the coke on the menu? Hey, Sadie, I didn't know you still worked here. How have things been? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lot of uh, this. When are you gonna quit, girl? You should di ditch these greasy smock and start hustling with me. I earned twice as much selling junk to my classmates as I did working at Pozo's. Thanks for the offer, but I don't mind it here. We both know the night manager would be without me. In case you're wondering what the reference was for this character. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself. Anyways, I'll have a calzone, triple fried with an extra anchovies and bell peppers under the cheese and a saucer of milk to drink. Valerie's usual comes right now. What about you guys? I don't know why. I want Scott's usual, whatever that is. Is the Coke on the menu? No, we have Pepsi. <laughs> Dang, if you're buying coke, we definitely won't have enough money to get any food for me. <laughs> Don't worry. I know all about that minimum wage life. We're running two price discounts today. Want to use one of them? 
you get a free pizza if you attend the opening show of the manager's conceptual theater piece or buy one pizza pay for two i do want to point out we while are, we need stamina we are we are low, low on, on money great pizza. free pizza <laughs> i i you know what i think you're i think you're cooking Damn. No, we're not cooking. That's why we're getting pizza. Shut morning. up. <laughs> Guess you do anything for free pizza. I'll let my manager know. Please. Well, you chose this. You're led to the alley behind the mall, where several pizza boxes have been stacked up to create a makeshift stage. Only several? Oh. I'm face of greed. I'm the man with money. Because I don't get paid enough for this shit. The Bozo's manager comes out next. Behold, he screeches. I am the face of wrath. Tremble before my bloody visage. Dude, all you did was smear pizza sauce all over your face. It's too watery to even look like blood. Behold, the manager screams, holding a hand mirror up to Valerie. Here stands the face of consumerism. Get that mirror out of my face. I'm not declawed, motherfucker, and I will prove it. The next three hours are filled with the manager screaming at the mannequin covered in I mean, melted what? mozzarella about the what? The lie of meritoc <laughs> meritocracy. There are, few, there are a few other patrons here also bored to tears. Go here for the three pizza. That is rep, wait. <laughs> that is rep. <laughs> You here for the free pizza? I think he was at one point, but now he's asleep with a slice of pizza hanging out of his mouth. Or he's dead, oh. I don't know. Oh, the pizza's so good. <laughs> if he's dead, do you think he'll risk that pizza slice? I bold it, I just Brian's old. song's still playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> You gained three stamina from free pizza you were promised, but was it worth the three hype loss? Yes, who knows? Oh, the pizza. No, don't leave. God, we're already at a rest stop. Jesus. Ace? Uh, uh, I want to go to Noodle. This is, uh... Oh, Ryan. I have to continue my day. Oh. Rep and I are just swapping back and forth. Uh, intro. Look, we're on a mission. <laughs> I'm on a mission for God. <laughs> hey, Ace. I'm running a special just for you. You can have anything uh, on these shelves that you just fed me the pesky liver ears. What do I need it for? You don't need to know. Let's talk him or liver removing. <sighs> Fine. But I'll get you next time. You won't have anything else to trade. That'd be crazy if liver was actually an option here. <laughs> the sequel to Neurotic Fanfic about dragons, someone else's credit card, Encyclopedia and Necronomica, or I Went to Heaven and All the Others is Dumb T-Shirt T-Shirt. Shit. Um. Uh, fuck. I, I, um. We That's need to keep the credit money. card. Do we I remember what say... shirt gave us? Was that Soul? I want to say that's Soul, yeah. So, so I know Encyclopedia next is mine. Yeah, get rid of that. Ashes of a man whose dying wish was to be given to a random road tripper, bounty hunter contract, <laughs> mind control lessons, and the truth. No, I want the truth. It could even be a <laughs> oh book. no. Oh no. Mind down, mind up. <laughs> I'm really good at this. <laughs> I'm, I'm so cracked. <laughs> Net neutral, baby. <laughs> Just like the ghost hauntings. God damn it. <laughs> God. <laughs> I have done nothing. I have contributed nothing. I will continue to contribute nothing. I would like to point out, we just got an achievement for trading for an even stat distribution. This was the true net neutral. 
It's crazy oh. that it popped. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Right. I was taking a drink. Uh, how do you know I'll be at the next rest stop? Because we're all in an endless time loop, silly. See you in four more turns. Not a loop. It's a spiral. Location call or hitchhiker. Hitchhiker. Okay. Who would you like to call? Oh, you turned off self-love. Fuck it, I'll go for cross-promotion. The lamb. I'm sorry, I didn't think to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> and Polly. Kinks? Kinks? Now, I will warn you, this heart here tells you you should pay attention to this conversation very closely. Okay. okay. Uh, Ladies kinks? and gentlemen, A thank raid? you for coming! Let the world tournament commence! <clears throat> Bulldog, Bulldog, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Welcome on in. <laughs> Sorry, I was least... speaking in voice. <laughs> that at least helps me feel better about how, like, every voice I do in this is, like, at least two seconds of Scott at the start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. It's like, uh, turn the brain off. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. We are doing some monster road trip. Uh, shit's happening. You're naughty, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I mean, sorry if I was overstepping. Nah, I'm game. If you want to know about my kinks, so be it. Do tell. As a general rule, I'm quite open to trying new stuff. You only live twice, so you gotta explore the vast Whoa. lands of sex in all its majesty. But after some, okay, and many sex capades, I've learned a thing or two about kinks. Like, messy stuff is all fun in games until you realize you need to clean up afterwards. And which of the three of you is going to mop up all that guac? Not me. That's a reference to the first game. The fact that I've seen every Monster Prom be played exclusively on this channel is telling. <laughs> very, well, very telling. Monster Prom 4. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Or the opposite. So, there's some sexy stuff that requires tons of prep, and that could be annoying. Like, yeah, this or that sounds great on paper until you get it to it and see so you need a fucking PhD to do it right. I know I'm making it seem like I'm picky, but believe me, hun, i I'm not. I've cleaned up the guac. I've gotten the PhD. You gotta try stuff. But then, over time, you learn a thing or two. Better not to break the law unless you break the laws of thermodynamics. Glue is not a replacement for me. <coughs> And never involve bees. <laughs> I'm writing this really down. I'm writing this down. That's... Oh, that last yeah. one is weirdly incredibly relevant. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. Or even better, let's talk about us. Like, just for funsies. Let's hypothetically say you and I, you know, slap a salmon, stuff the taco, do the no-pants dance. What would you want to do? Oh, snap. You want to play it cool, but your head is spinning like someone's trying to exercise you. <laughs> Think of something quick. Roleplay? Okay, okay, that can work for me. But don't play it safe, boo. I want the specifics. What if, what would we be roleplaying as? I want to hear it all. Hmm, what's a roleplay as? Go for it, champ. You'll be a sexy general, and Polly would be an entire fortress. You've taken under siege. This war won't be won with strength but with endurance. You'll be the chef, Polly will be the pizza. Get ready to knead her dough. Wait, you've roleplayed before. Just use two characters from past campaigns. Els with valiant hair to their kingdom of Malzanor, and Tybalt, brooding thief with a grim dark past. I hope you were paying attention to the previous conversations. Oh god, okay, so... It doesn't need to be overly complicated and doesn't necessarily need to be messy. She is... She's she's cleaned the guac herself. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to have to get the PhD. Mm -hmm. So fuck, it's really between one and three in my mind. Mm -hmm. Can you scroll up in the conversation or no? No. All right. The problem is, is like, in my mind, two is really easy to understand. Three is not because <laughs> she doesn't understand the lore behind my character. Mm hmm. Do you so... want my advice? Do you want my advice, I should say. I don't know the answer to this, but... 
My brain tells me one, but what's your thinking? My brain tells me one, because two is overcomplicated and or three is overcomplicated and two is undercomplicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gotta be one. It's gotta be one. Kinky. Like, I've roleplayed as many things, but a whole fortress? That's a first for me. There's plenty of room to improvise different tactics to enter me. You could even call for reinforcements if we feel like it. Uh, um, sure. And you I'm know what? In. <laughs> I have the perfect engine for this kind of siege. It's one of my toys, a very strong <laughs> one. I call it my little battering ram. Wow, that sounds appropriate at the very least. Is Dante in this one? I mean, who's to say? Tang, sorry. Look at me. We were just doing a harmless thought experiment, and here I am, getting too into it. I know I can get intense sometimes. Sorry, boo. Don't see me complaining. You and Polly grin at each other, thinking of all the things you'd like to batter and ram. Congrats. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good <Yeah>. job, team. <laughs> oh, shit, it's my turn. Oh, fuck. Hi, welcome to Jin Insect Roleplay. The future? Or, um, the future. Well, the one. You thinking about what to do with these ten thousand dollars I want? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. The other day, I was eating yogurt. And apparently, there was this thing where some of the yogurt lids had prizes on their backs. Long story short, I won the big prize. Whoa! So that's why you've been eating yogurt these last few days. Huh? Uh, no, no. I, I had no idea about the prize. I just like yogurt. Ah. Okay. Man. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with $10,000. Buy a yacht? You can buy a yacht with $10,000. See? Lost, dude. Normally... I don't manage even more than thirty dollars at a t at the same time. Any clue what you'd like to get with that much money? Classics. I want something that doesn't translate to the responsibilities or stress. No complicated stuff. No classic stuff. No ooh la la stuff. I'm a simple man, you know? Taking notes here. Ah, not a goose. Goose bad. Why would you use $10,000 to buy a single goose? I don't know. It's not a goose, okay? Hmm. Then, easy, $10,001 burgers, bet everything on red, you know what's better than $10,000, $20,000, or a goose? I mean... <laughs> Now, hear me out. Okay, yeah, I'm listening. It could be a goose. It could be a goose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels like one, right? That's like... Yeah, it feels one. like one. Hmm. That's an intriguing idea. I do like $1 burgers. My math isn't wrong. Ten thousand dollars should give or take. Let me buy ten thousand one dollar burgers. I'm no scientist, but probably. Can you know what that is? A lot of one dollar burgers. Oh, blessed be. A whole lot. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Dude, imagine that. I have a burger for every moment I needed one. It's not their cheap place. They could probably do that for under 10k. No, it gives them character. 
dreamed of living such a life of luxury. A life where I'd always have a burger in my hand. A gentleman dandy you'd be. Totally. Let's not waste any more time, Jenny. Let's head to the burger place. Oh, wait. Are you planning to buy all 10,000 burgers at once? Yeah. But Brian, they'd get bad in a couple of days. Just keep the money and have a sort of burger fund. Dude. You have the smarts to manage money. <laughs> what if you join me? I could be the money man, you'll be the brains. <laughs> I'll be the money man, you be the brains man. We'll eat ah, the man. burger man. And so, you two go to the rest stop's convenience store. You buy the first two of 10,000 burgers you'll be eating from the time. Two? Absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it really is just me and Jen. <laughs> it's really <laughs> you and me. <laughs> Rip and I are just eating snacks, just like, man. I can't believe we're fourth wheeling. <laughs> Man. The car keeps driving and we don't want to be a part of it anymore. <laughs> Welcome, Jay. It goes like this. Magic's in the lead. From the Keep in mind, we gotta push something to 25 to end this ride. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So we gotta we gotta push something here. Order of a one-person country or a way. Okay, so our magic is the thing we can push forward. We can loot. We can afford to lose mind. True. I'll lose some mind. Let's eat his fries. I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> Head off. <laughs> Whoa, you had no idea there was another country out here in the middle of the desert. Of course, geography was never your strong suit. Or maybe the civilization is new? Whatever the case, also I can't alert. read and you're hella curious to check out this place. What do you do when you cross the border? Uh, well, how they? <laughs> well, uh, international <laughs> relations! This country is a little more than a cottage in a small field. You walk through the open door and see several important looking people sitting around a table. Oh, God. Okay, settle down, everyone. <laughs> no, I officially you're... call the annual Monsters United Nations meeting I am Ball Barris. Here today in representation of L. I am Ambassador Fishholder, representing the Mer Kingdom. Oh. Our nation is happy to trust the peaceful political discourse thing before jumping straight to global invasions. Yep. <laughs> and I'm Noodles, representing my country, Noodles is Europe. Is there a specific reason as to why we recognize Noodles' as sovereign nation as a legitimate country? It's a long story. The short version is we don't I want to repeat what happened last time we tried to kick him out of the mud. <laughs> Today, shenanigans have been, they have been shenaniganful. It's been Mario Party, then Falling, and now this. <laughs> the rest of the ambassadors introduce themselves. The ambassadors of Belgium, Singapore, Madagascar, and Christmas Island are all present. This is the island of Miss Red Voice. <laughs> I think that's everyone, so let's begin. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute, says the Singaporean ambassador. Who are those people sitting off to the side? Move your feet. Hey, bros, don't mind us. We just want to listen in. Hey, <laughs> you can't do that! Cries the Belgian ambassador. This is a classified meeting, and I am not doing a caricature voice among <laughs> some of the most respected, dangerous leaders in the monster world. Yet you let noodles in? It goes like this. You have no idea what war crimes I'm capable of. Okay, fine. Then we're actually. 
is the song I'm... man, but please see all of the list. Oh, I'm just saying, saying hi to that he the gives Oh, you were just saying hi to oh, Hitman. Oh, Hitman. Then Hitman. we're actually ambassadors of a new country called uh, the Independent Republic. Oh, the Independent Republic of Pranks. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm gonna spend all next week catching up on shit. Fun fact: Day one is getting uploaded tomorrow. And move your feet real slow. Sounds made up. Well, all countries are made up, I suppose. You could stay, but according to diplomatic laws, you can only participate at one point of discussion. It's to help ease new countries into international politics. You check the itinerary for today's meeting. Which point of discussion do you choose? International trade treaties or diplomatic negotiations aiming to stop noodles of Europe from building nuclear weapons? Shit, this is my decision. And God, I know which one I want you to pick. Is it this? Let noodles go to war! No, we're stopping him from going to war. Oh, let make noodles, noodles go to war. war. Make noodles not war. Make noodles not war. Okay. Make war and noodles. Okay, what would do magic and mind more? Oh, uh, shit. Probably international trade trees. Uh, I mean, Wait, what am I losing? I'm losing mind no matter what here. So, yeah. international trade treaties is probably money? That's what I'm thinking too. Probably. That's probably soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so really, uh, I'm gonna go with that just for the sake of maybe not losing all of our money. International trade treaties it is. You wait until they get to that point of discussion when you join. Some of the action has already started already. Intel tells us you manufacture some weird products in your country. Well, what's it? We're hoping to trade you 20,000 soldiers for 0.1% of your gross national product. Wait, I want to slice that money pie. Noodles, I gotta have that 0.1% GNP. Okay, well, you give me for it. How about this? The Independent Republic of Pranks can offer you a $30 million military armament. Or you can have whatever's in Jenny's right hand. Could even be a forty million dollar military armament. <laughs> military power is obviously the better deal. There's no way anybody would be stupid enough to. I can't handle this space. I'll take the right hand. Great choice. Your prize is a coupon entitling you to a free pizza. Actually, wait. It seems to be a buy one get one free pizza coupon, so you still have to buy a pizza to use it. But still, it's something. Oh, no. Not the angry eyebrows. <laughs> when he draws on the angry eyebrows, it can only be one thing. War crimes. <laughs> Break out the mustard gas. You will worry about war crimes tomorrow. Today. Today, you gain four money from Noodles Europe. Let's fucking go. But you still lose four mind from doing lots of brain diplomacy. Oh, shit, because I keep fucking dating Polly fucking thing is getting worse and worse and better and better. It's getting better and better and worse and worse, baby. We're so fucking back. Uh, there's a lot of plus magic over here in cult headquarters. Cult? And there's... Wait, futuristic gas station. We have options here. Futuristic gas station. All right. Future. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Driving along when you have to hard break because some weirdo has set up a sales <laughs> tent in the middle of the road. He's here to sell us a nuke. Oh, fuck. Hello, Hello traveler. <laughs> I've got a fabulous deal just for you. I was gonna say, me and Rev went for the same bit. There's nothing you can do. I went for fucking Oh, I want a fabulous deal. I like fabulous things. I went for a dry ass mummy voice. <laughs> Good day, stranger. Ah, then you're a man of fabulous taste. And you're gonna love my fabulous life changing product. I don't even know what accent I'm going for here. <laughs> you're committed now, oil. bitch. <laughs> like a real con man. Okay, and what does this fabulous snake oil do exactly? Go to bed, Bulldog. Thanks for hanging out. You go to bed. 
Oh ho ho, what a question. What doesn't my snake oil do? It does, it... It, Fuck. it oils snakes. That's so cool, I love oil. Sometimes my teammates even cover each other in oil and wrestle to build teamwork. Oh. Sure. <laughs> Two teammates together, oil. <laughs> You've got to start inviting me to more football practices. Well, oil kind of serves like a sales simp and must invest in my snake oil. In fact, I'm not giving you a choice. Just tell me how much you're going to invest and I'll forge your signatures on this check, okay? <laughs> invest with only uh, true, viable currency these days. Social currency. Tweet something very clever in support of snake oil. Buy some snake oil and spend the day looking for snakes ready to get oily. Join the Big Anaconda Club for only the most exclusive snake oil investors. It'll probably require you to use snake oil for everything from now on, but it might be worth it. I guess we'll go to the Big Anaconda Club. Oh. Oh, welcome to the club. Here's your card. <laughs> our, our priorities have changed. <laughs> That future card. Oh, wow. You invested minus five money. You're really quite gullible. I'm, I mean, generous. Enjoy your lifetime supply of snake oil. Tell me a story about the Son of Dinner. Yes. We've got so much snake oil. We're going to do so many things with it. Buried it here to me. Like, Holly, what do we do with snake oil? Loom, Whatever probably. we want. We spend a lot of moolah on this stupid stuff, so by God, we're gonna find a way to benefit from it. Like, we're gonna oil some snakes with it, obviously. And then we're gonna oil some snakes with it as well. snakes and moving them up would be super fun. Oh, and we could drink the snake oil. Like, why not, right? I'll ingest almost anything. You, Polly, and Scott, gulp down some snake oil and gain one stamina. Swear to God. Wow, it tastes almost edible. I want to try dipping chicken fingers in this. And honestly, Hitman, at a certain point, I was just like, okay, fuck it. His gimmick is that he can't hold his accent. <laughs> now, let's try putting it in the gas tank. That's inadvisable, but it's too late. Polly's pouring the snake oil into the tank. It actually boosts your one magic. How? Okay. Who cares? This is a monster road trip where everything is made up and common sense doesn't matter. By the end of the day, you, Polly, and Scott are reclining in some lawn chairs, watching the sunset in awe of your new snake oil-filled life. Snake oil, sharp cod alive, I propose a toast, gang, to the big anaconda club and all the joy its wonderful product has given us. Three cheers for snake oil. You chug your snake oil margaritas and gain three hype. Ah, the good life. If only that gave me three magic. <laughs> you pull into what you think is a gas station. But honestly, this could be a space station for all you know. Seriously, this place is high tech as hell. Do they even sell service regular vehicles? Well, only way to find out. What do you do? Use the restrooms, fill the car's tank, go to the store. Fill the car's tank. You pull up to the gas pump to get some of that sweet magic car juice. But before you can pay for anything, your pump pumps to life and speaks. I can pull up a robot voice if we need it. The first ever gas pump with two oil. So you're like a fancy gas pump with extra features or something? Uh huh, extra features. So I'm in the middle of a truly test three limits of what a gas pump can do. I can feel all of your job. I can fall deeply in love. I can, <laughs> I can strip into maximum overdrive. I can step into maximum overdrive. <laughs> I was even found to experience the early organic predicament of being monsters in time. Science truly has no limits. Why would we run a gas pump to do that, though? I, I don't get it. Am I, am I being dumb, Polly? 
Not this time, boo. Listen. I think we'll just settle for getting some... Never settle. Built a software for the device. It could only be described as the first electronic soul. For you see, I can even grasp the beauty of art. Such that the majestic eyes of the bird, William Shakespeare. So, what services can I dispense for you today? Maybe I'll go to the site from Shakespeare for you. <laughs> he just wants some gas, please and thanks. Uh, with my refined engine, I can sense the intricate metaphors of organic language. You surely mean gas for your soul, fuel for your mind. I can fool your body by reciting some lines from none other than the bard's mouth itself himself, with extra pathos. We aren't getting that gas, are we? We're not sure if we can fool the most advanced and annoying AI in the field of gas bombs, but he's gotta try. Produce Shakespeare's lesser known play, Fast and Furious the 14th, and then give the gas pump the lead, the lead part. The one of the gas pump who pumps a car full of gas. Trick the gas pump into eating ice cream so its lactose intolerance will make it want to release gas. Well, you know, we gotta go with fucking tricking go the gas pump gas. into shitting itself because that's my fucking character arc. <laughs> 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 An ice cream party, huh? Guess that means we gotta break open the emergency ice cream stash. If I can't do a nasally voice. <laughs> yes, yes, ice cream emergency. I'll get to have it. Scott breaks the glass that once protected your emergency ice crew. Oh, 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 oh. That once protected your emergency ice cream and you pass out the goods, effectively losing four stamina. I've heard of such, but I know so little. Or for I can read 1,000 pages of content per second, and yet I still choose to read all of Shakespeare's books on it least. Should I indulge myself with this exotic delicacy? You know what, my friends? Unlike Ambit, I have been plagued by indecision. I will not be played by indecision. I can read, <laughs> smear that cream on my tongue. Oh God! You wish that had been worded a little differently, but all right. You stick the gas hose in a pint of ice cream. Oh, I feel funny. Maybe, may it be the ice cream that is made out of milk. Hey, let me tell you. So silly! It's made out of ice and cream. It's in the day. Oh, yes. Actually, yes, it's pretty much entirely made out of milk. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. It seems my lactose intolerant feature will finally be made useful. A tragedy in the making, only comparable to the tragedies rooted by. We get it. Uh, now, uh, you, um, would it trouble you much if I believe myself in your gas compartment? Oh my god, I can't stop cheating. <laughs> sure, bro, there's no shame passing a little gas. I fart all the time. Yep, unfortunately, I can't confirm that's true. Knowing that gas lead is basically just gas pump farts doesn't make you very happy, but at least it worked. Take plus four magic and don't think too much about where it came from. Oh, oh, we're so close. We're oh, we're, so, we're, so, we're so close. We're so close. <laughs> I had to sacrifice so much to go so close. <laughs> you did. Oh, God. What's that minus? Okay, that's a minus stamina. Which we don't Ooh. want. Ooh, no, we do not. It's. I was going to say, we have a guaranteed plus money. 
We just have to choose that it's not a minus stamina. Pretty much. Lock the truck up, man. I'm tired. I feel dead on my feet. I hope I never have to do that robot voice ever again. <laughs> Nothing says oh, fun like me. two huge trucks on huge wheels wrecking the shit out of each other. The stands are filled with cheery oh, no. fans ready to see some vehicular carnage. As for you and your friends, you're ready to watch the show, take a joyride, pose as food vendors. I have a suggestion. <laughs> That's my suggestion. Alright. You just checked out, checked your bank account and had a minor heart attack. Real. <laughs> yeah. It's time to make some extra cash. <laughs> Don't worry, I know the perfect way for us to get money. Let's pretend to be food vendors. Won't people notice if we don't have uniforms and food or stuff? We don't need all that fancy shit to get people to give us money. We're in a monster truck rally. Everyone's too focused on the monster trucks to actually stop and realize we're phonies. Trust me, half the food vendors here are scammers themselves. Look around. <laughs> food? Get your food here. <laughs> Great, I'm starving. Did you put food in air quotes? Who knows? You're too focused on the monster trucks to even notice that I'm a phony. Yeah, good point. One food, oh, hi, please. Oh, hi, Mark. Excellent. I just put it in your mouth. No refunds. Mm. <laughs> this tastes weird. What am I eating, bros? And look now, too busy 